Okay, peeps, I've got Anonymous here for her much anticipated interview. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you, Anonymous, for agreeing to this. To be honest, she didn't <laughs> really want to do this because um, she's kind of shy, but um, I convinced her to because that's just how I am. I'm very persuasive, and I wanted y'all to learn a little bit more about her. Y'all become big fans of hers pretty quick. So, first off, hello, Anonymous, and thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Um, tell us a little bit. You know kind of how you got the name anonymous uh, to begin with okay so uh, I met number two pencil like my third day on trail and I didn't have um, a trail name yet and he asked me he said is it okay if 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 you're on my channel and uh, I said yeah that's fine just you know not until I have a trail name like and, you know have a trail name and he said well we're gonna call you anonymous for now and so that has just stuck yeah, I wasn't anticipated she'd be anonymous all the time, but it really did. Trail names will stick pretty quick out here. Tell us a little bit about your hike. I know, uh, explain to them how you just started a flip-flop and yeah. um, kind of, you know, what's going into your hike so far. Yeah, so I started on May 20th in uh, Harper's Ferry, West Virginia, and I thought it was a good midway point and um, a relatively, um, I don't want to say easy section of the AT, but... Um, what some would deem a, maybe a good place to start. It's not as taxing as Springer or Katahdin. Um, so yeah, that's where I started and I thought I'd give it two to four weeks uh, and just see how it goes. And um, yeah, it's been, I think, seven or eight weeks and I've gone through a good chunk so far. What's it been like hiking with number two pencil? I mean, most of the, the followers have been watching me since February the 6th, so they kind of know kind of know me a little bit, but what has it been like from your end? It's been super fun. Um, we have a similar sense of humor, so there's a lot of laughing. There's a lot of stopping to laugh, and um, yeah, it's been super fun. I think that's been great, and we always have each other's back, so uh, we help each other a lot, and uh, I think that's really great to have on trail as well. All right, what are your future goals for your hike? Or do you even know? I know it sometimes changes from day to day. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know that I'll, you know, go to Maine. And that was never what I came out, set out to do. Um, I set out to meet new people, make new friends, um, more of like the social side of it. And also I love adventuring. So um, I do a lot of hiking and paddle boarding and things like that. Um, and I just thought this would be fun and uh, a, a unique opportunity to kind of tick all those boxes and anonymous i don't know if she likes to talk about this uh that much but she agreed to she is a cancer survivor uh, which i think is really cool because she's out here doing something that that maybe a lot of people who's been through uh similar things that she has might not be doing so you want to just tell us a little bit about that yeah yeah um yeah i had a very uh, late stage cancer about 10 years ago and um i got through that um very luckily and just kind of dealt with the aftermath of that for many years. Um, I'm still kind of dealing with aftermath of that with some health issues, but um, yeah, I'm very grateful that I am able to do this and I really just want to take advantage of, you know, um, living in the moment and uh, engaging in, I don't know, fun opportunities and whatnot. So I try to keep focused on that. Do you have any advice for other people who might be facing similar types of comebacks for once they get onto the trail? Yeah, I think, I mean, I will. one of the things I said to my family when I first started, when I started Harper's Ferry, it was like 95 that weekend. It was like record-breaking heat, and it was incredibly difficult terrain, and I've hiked for many years. And um, uh, I remember texting my sister, and I said, this is... This makes chemo, radiation, and running a marathon look like a cakewalk. Um, so, if, if you can get through it, you can do it. That's what I keep telling myself. Like, I've been through worse. Like, that's what I keep telling myself. And that helps kind of put things in, into perspective for me. Um, but I think if you want to do it, you can set your mind to it, you can do it. And what number two pencil always says is it's 90% mental and 10% mental. And that's 100% true. Um, the physical challenges are very challenging, but it's within reason, but can you kind of overcome mentally? But yeah, anyone, I don't want to say anyone can do it because I know that, you know, people have physical limitations, but um, if you have um, the grit, then 
I think you can do it. Cool. Yeah, I just want to say thanks, Anonymous, for talking about this. Because at first, when I mentioned, I said the people would love to know, like, like it's impressive what you're doing, and and like it's uh, motivating for people who might be in a similar situation. But she, what she said to me was she didn't want to be like defined by you know having been sick. And I was like, well, you're not defined by having been sick. You're defined by what's you know how you've dealt with that and how you're out here hiking that ET, which is a hard thing to do for the healthiest person in the world. So. So much appreciated. What I always ask people, what's been your worst day out here? It's not today, hopefully. <laughs> um, I would say the worst day is probably the last day when we came into Delaware Water Gap. Um, what made it hard? I mean, we had been wet for days. Um, that was the beginning of the rash when it was like that big. Yeah. And um, But I just, I woke up, I just felt awful physically. I was nauseous, I was dizzy. Um, Everything's wet. We had been out for like nine days, no shower. And it was like all I could do to get down that descent. And I was like inaudible, uh, even. Uh, visiting other hikers once we got to town, when we got to breakfast, I was just smoked. But yeah, that was you want to give them a little update on your rash? It does uh, seem to be improving. <laughs> we, I think it is. I mean, we, I talked to a pharmacist here, and she does not think it was the skin infection that the first nurse thought it was, just because I had a pretty remarkable reaction to the medicine which made it significantly worse and kind of spread like wire wildfire so I quit using the medicine and now it seems to be improving so um, it's moved down the list of ailments <laughs> <laughs> yes 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 she actually I don't know if she wants me to tell this she strained her back a little bit today like just in the hotel room like just like grabbing a shirt off the bed or something like that that's just how backs go so we're <laughs> <laughs> Hope it should be okay and good to go tomorrow. But yep, um, yep. okay, on the good news side, what's been your very best day out here? Oh my gosh, um, I'd say it's hard to pick because there's been a lot of best days. Um, probably the day we saw the bears. Oh yeah, that and was super cool. Even if we didn't see the bears, it was just probably my favorite section of the trail. I think we did Knife's Edge that day. Yeah, we um, did a lot. It we did a, a lot day. that day. We had a lot of physical challenges. And that was kind of the reward. It was yeah. so beautiful. It was beautiful. I told people in the, the hike, they reminded me of the PCT. So. Yeah. It was amazing. That was, yeah, that was a great day. Yeah. I mean, even these last few days in New York, we were slack packing. They were still hard slack packing, which was very level setting. Um, yeah. But some of those scrambles we did and just the big boulders, those were, that was, those were like fun days versus like feeling like a grind that you're trying to get through. Yeah, no doubt. What uh, We talked about your food the other day. We kind of showed your food. Has that been a challenge to try to keep hiking as a vegetarian? Just being honest, I'm, I'm asking her to be honest. I know she doesn't eat meat, which, like, that's the first thing I crave when I get to town is some salty meat. So how, do, how has that been working out? Yeah, it is a, definitely a challenge. I feel depleted from an in energy standpoint. Um, I'm tired of grilled cheese. <laughs> Uh, especially when it's like 90 degrees out and hot, like the last thing you want is something hot and greasy off the griddle, you know, um, and pancakes and all the things that don't really give you any kind of nutrients that are kind of the go-to in small towns for vegetarian. So it's either yeah. French fries or <laughs> grilled cheeses. Yes. So it's been a challenge. Um, or a Greek salad. Or she Greek, does yeah, like that, a Greek salad. Kind of, I about burn myself out on that, but not yet. Uh, so yeah, I think food in general, and we've talked about that, like you get burnout on all food, um, whether it's backpacker yeah. food or town food, because the town food, we found some really great places, um, uh, but you know, there's only so many like burgers and hot dogs yeah, and pizza yeah. and stuff like that. So. Um, but yeah, it's it's a work in progress for sure. Yeah, and I know based on the comments um, on all of my videos here recently that Anonymous has been in, like she has a lot of fans and a lot of family following too. You want to just shout out to your your friends and your fans and your family and everybody that's been watching? Yeah, absolutely. I just I'm I, I do not engage on social media, so this has been um, just a different experience um, uh, for the folks that I don't know. Um, being so kind and supportive and uh, my aunts and my cousins um, that are supporting as well so yeah just the thank you to everyone and uh, it's it's the lightest it's this it's the ultimate ultra light um, support is uh, verbally nothing to pack right yeah that's um, true so just teasing on that but uh, yeah thank you so much everybody it's been really wonderful
it's been the best best part is is the people has been the best part and that was kind of the main thing I wanted to reconnect with a bunch of just humanity in general and um, people I know and don't know that's been one of the best experiences awesome well, I won't keep you here forever um, I promised her some ice cream or some food or something if she would do this interview so just like I did um, Eddie spaghetti submarine sandwich I brought some bacon strips the other day so Anonymous will get a treat for doing this interview. So <laughs> thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I've enjoyed hiking with you. It's been awesome. No matter what happens in the future, it's been the best part of my hike for sure. So thank you, and we'll see you down the trail. Okay.